Wow. Well, you know, today is yet another song on the... Uh, mothership. Hello? Bruce, Mothership here. Yes. Commander Slat 9 and General F5 want to let you know that the Turbo Dominator Solo Station launch is scheduled for 0900 hours. Have you set up the appropriate tempos for each device? Oh, sh**. Uh, Bruce? Uh, uh, Bruce, yeah, are yeah, you there? Yes, 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 I did. Good. The General will be pleased. Mothership, out. Uh -huh. And we're going to get a great look at this wonderful classic tune, Cherokee. Now, check out how you can get more videos like this one. Just navigate to Bruce Gregory Video On Demand. When you get to the site, you can browse videos in a wide variety of categories. Each video covers a different topic and has bonus content and supporting documentation. There's even a free trial option. Don't forget to use your promo code to get a discount off your first purchase. And the link for that promo code is in the description down below. Now, if you dig the video, throw it a like, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification because that's going to let you know every time I upload a new video. And of course, the channel releases new videos on every Tuesday and every Friday. So let's get started. Dig it! Cherokee, this is just one fantastic tune. It just speaks bebop, in my opinion. And of course, if you don't know this tune, you need to hone your chops because this is one that can burn you into the ground on the bandstand. Of course, one of the great things about this tune is the classic, classic, awesome melody. Let's give it a listen. is how spaced out it really kind of is in the grand scheme of really a rapid moving song. So it goes like this. Then again. That's really the whole A section. It's got that little bit of change on the second time around. And then the bridge. And then we're modulating down to follow those two fives. And then repeating the top of the form. So it's really not that hard of a melody. It's a great one. It kind of just plays around with getting inside a lot of those dominant chords. And when we speak of dominant chords and the harmony, man, it's got it going on. Of course, we're in B flat major, but then we go right to the four chord and then a flat seven seven. Man, right there, just like Stella by Starlight, of course. And then we repeat the form. But this time he takes us to a dominant two, like A train, and then a two five. And then we repeat all of that again. It's basically the same form, but it kind of goes like this. Quick 
finger two five here. And then we've got those cascading two fives. We've got C sharp minor seven to F sharp seven to B, and then we take all of that minor and then minor again. And the way it's getting turned around here is just basically G minor to C7, 2, 5, back to B flat. And that's the entire form. So it's not a complicated tune, but it's got a lot of cornerstones of what we would consider the bebop era primarily because of the dominant. Now, if you've been on the channel before and you've watched the investigation series, you know that I am a big, big fan of the dominant. Of course, the flat 7-7, seven, seven, the dominant 4, the dominant 2, and this tune has a lot of that feel to it. <laughs> Speaking of all of that, what am I thinking in terms of soloing? Of course, this is a super fast tempo tune usually played like that. In fact, when Joe Pass played it on his Virtuoso album solo, he even played it at a pretty fast tempo. Of course, this is one that can really bury a player if your chops aren't great in learning how to play in and out of those changes. And that's one thing that you really need to have under your belt. But I'm not really thinking anything crazy primarily because of the tempo on this tune. Of course, if I slow it down, it opens up a little bit more options, but we're gonna play it at a pretty peppy tempo today. And of course, it's B flat major. And then I'm thinking directly over the four when I do that two five. So I'm thinking E flat major, and then I'm basically thinking melodic minor or Lydian flat seven over that A flat seven. And then I take it back to B flat major. And again, I'm thinking Lydian flat seven over that C, or it would be G melodic minor, and then back to one. And basically that's the whole A section, the way I'm thinking of soloing over that. When I get to the two fives, I'm basically just thinking purely diatonically over those two fives. I've got B major. A major to G major to F major back to B flat major. So I'm basically just weaving in and out of those changes very, very diatonically. I'm not really playing a whole lot of altered dominant sounds except for those Lydian flat seven moments. Of course, the A flat seven, and don't forget the C seven, because that's really a way in which I can blaze in a lot of different dominant sounds. Now, I'm saying that, but of course, we can't just play it purely diatonically and just play over those dominants as they are. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> say one of the greatest tunes of all times in the bebop era you've got dizzy gillespie from joe pass and of course don't forget charlie parker and on and on and on everybody loves to play this tune it's one of the classic classic jazz standards of all times now don't forget one of the things you really need to be aware of with this tune of course is the tempo it's really important the melody is something that you can learn it is not that complex and even at a fast tempo you can navigate this melody but playing over those changes and really hitting those dominants and moving from the thirds to the sevens that's really the key here and that's something to focus on when you're practicing this tune now if you dig this video make sure to check out my video on Olio and all the other videos on the bhx.tv site of course the channel releases new videos on every Tuesday and every Friday and don't forget to check out the new series on Wednesdays jazz standards you need to know and I will see you next time peace